same thing. We're working with the home automation system now to put all of the smart lights and everything on there. It should have added it. Is it called kitchen? Um, kitchen lights one? Or just kitchen lights? I gotta get rid of this kitchen lights. Just thank God I had. Good afternoon, people, or good evening. It is like 5.20 on Wednesday, April 14th. And I am in Ronnie's car headed to the ATM because I'm about to give these workers a tip. Like, they have been doing so good. Today is pretty much their last day. Um, they have finished everything on the punch list. They have even went above and beyond, fixed little places on the two-story ceiling that needed to be fixed um, from Ronnie um, that he couldn't get to, you know, with his ladder. They hung a picture for me, extra like and they said i didn't owe them anything we're about to give them like probably like 150 dollars each like they have been really good i wish the third one was with them too but um yeah they've been doing excellent so the last thing that we need done and it's not going to get done today because i don't have it is the owner of the company um told us we need to buy a telescopic downdraft because there is no fan or anything on the new cooktop. So I've been researching some today. I can't find one that already has the fan or the blower in included, like already built in for less than like 950 bucks. So, and of course Frigidaire doesn't, the one that Frigidaire made has been discontinued. They don't make it anymore. So I'm gonna have to get a different brand. But he said when we get it, just to contact him and he'll have his um, countertop guy come out and um, you know cut the hole for it. Um, I'm really excited about the new kitchen. We've put a lot of the furniture back in place. We're still nowhere near like decorating done or anything like that but I really think it's gonna look really really nice it looks totally different like the house looks amazing and it's just so amazing I can't wait for Ray to come home tonight and see it because it's so amazing I have rain on my glasses but anyway I'm about to go and run and get them a tip um, and so yeah that's what we're gonna do I'll be um, definitely showing like updates on Instagram and of course vlogging everything for you guys there's so many decorating videos and everything I want to put out um, for the spaces but first it's got to be a massive home decor haul because I have so much stuff that I purchased before this happened before the renovation started and I didn't get a chance to film the haul for you guys because um, Ronnie had moved all the stuff into the rooms and everything to clear everything out before I got a chance to record So I have to do that first I'm probably gonna have to split it into two videos because otherwise it would be super super long and y'all know um, So yeah, I'm excited y'all. I'm super duper excited but Anyway, let me get this money for them and get back because like I said, it's 530 and they usually leave at 5 and they're just finishing up literally like the last two things on the punch list now and that's only because they did like all this extra stuff that we just added and he was like no you don't have to pay me you don't have to pay me yes i do y yes i do thank you so much sir anyway i'm gone hey y'all look what's finished and look, I'm playing myself, my videos on the tablet. Did y'all see that? You look at this. Snacks? Look snacks? at this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the kitchen is done. Yes, it looks so good, you guys. I am going to change out the bar stools. And then one last thing we decided at the last minute we're going to do is we're going to get a telescopic um down draft that you know comes up from the counters so the the countertop guy is going to come back out once it gets delivered and install that for us but we can definitely cook and everything now and everything just looks so good let me pause this so you guys can hear oh look you guys 
Ronnie and I were just standing here like, oh my goodness, we can't believe that we live here. Amazing. And this is amazing. Like my design came together, all of his hard work with the house and everything, everything came together and it just looks so amazing, you guys. So I am going to um, post a final reveal video and all that other stuff, but it looks so good, you guys. Oh! Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hey guys, happy Friday. Today is April 16th. It's 9.07, baby girl. It's right here about to go to Nana's house. She's drinking her morning bottle. Um, we had to go to Costco yesterday. I wanted to show you guys some of the keto options we got from Costco um, yesterday. Um, I did, we did pick up a, actually we picked up two of those. One for our house and one for Nana's house. And then this just looked like something I needed. This is like chicken bouillon seasoning. I've never had it before. So I purchased it because I'm about to be cooking in here. Like we got a new kitchen. I'm about to be cooking. Okay, so let me put that away. Um, I did put my seasonings up right right there um i wanted to show you guys i'll show you guys tonight ronnie finished running because these are the lights that we got from amazon they are linked in my amazon store and also my instagram bio um just click on amazon store um but they're in there and the link to the amazon store is also in the description box of every video but these are the cozy lady led strip lights and we put them underneath the cabinets and he put them yesterday on top of the cabinets. It looked like Club Guard Trail in here. Um, but I wanted to show you guys that I kind of did this. I'm going to do like a decorate with me as far as the kitchen video. But I just wanted to like stage it before and see if I liked it. So my cousin gave me this large wine glass one year for my birthday. It fits a whole bottle of wine. And I never used it. So I cut the tag off of it and I just turned this to the back. And then I ordered the... Um, that order i ordered these uh quarts from amazon they were like ten dollars for a whole bag i didn't use them all and then i just put a bottle of wine there and that is a wine holder back there i also got this you'll see this in the home decor hall but i got this um cutting not cutting board marble maybe it is a cutting board it's round so i'm going to get some fake grapes from michael's and then maybe get a fake uh, piece of cheese and some bread from etsy but what I wanted to show you guys was some of the options, keto options. Some of you guys always ask us what we get. So we did see these, and I saw these at Ross the other day, and I didn't get them. And they also had keto syrup, and I should have got it. But we got this, so I knew I need to get some no sugar syrup. We got this. This was like $10 at um, Costco. We always get their uh, low-carb tortillas. So that's not bad. Ronnie stocked us up on um, pork skins. We didn't get those from Costco, though. Um, we got a bag of Parmesan Crisp. These are the everything flavor. This is the first time we got the Chalk Keto, which is like dark chocolate snaps. And it has, um, this has coconut and almonds and sea salt. I'm not a coconut person, but we tried it. I think that was like $10 as well. The Keto Clusters were a little less than $10. I wanted some beef sticks, and these were only like 7 or 8 bucks. And then Ronnie was excited to try this keto cereal. It came with, this is the first time we saw it, but it comes with chocolate and cinnamon flavor. And it's only three net carbs per cup. So if he eats two cups in a sitting, that's not bad for breakfast. They did not have my Too Good yogurt, which is keto friendly. So I'm upset about that because you guys know I use the keto granola in that and make me a parfait. But they didn't have it. Um, what else did I get? Oh, if you guys haven't tried them, the White Claw... We tried the iced tea. It's a variety pack that you can buy. They're really good. It comes with like mango, raspberry, lemon, and something else. These are good. But try the um, Truly Lemonade variety pack first. Those are bomb. Um, what else did we get? We got some milk, some, um, some turkey breast and ham. We already had some cheese for the wraps. I make wraps and stuff like that. Got water, Diet Coke. We love these sausages. So our friend, um, you guys know Brittany's family. They're coming over today to see the new kitchen and everything. And we're going to have dinner. So um, Ronnie thawed out some of these sausages we bought. I bought this to make baby girls food because you guys know I've been feeding her the Gerber stuff while we were having the renovations going on. But the renovations are done so I can get back to making her food. So at Sam's, they have this hand pool rotisserie chicken breast meat. No preservatives or anything in it. So because I started giving her the Gerber food that has meat in it, I can start pureeing some of the vegetables with meat. So I bought that for her. Um, we also bought a pack of lamb. 
Um, so that's good. We bought a bag of steamable broccoli. We love that. Um, I love this sweet kale salad. I don't use this right here. I don't use the salad salad dressing that comes with it because it's a poppy seed um, sweet dressing. I do use ranch, um, which is keto friendly, but the poppy seed dressing is really good. Ronnie gets the, um, he loves the Caesar salad kit that comes from Costco. We got a bag of asparagus to grill. You guys can't see that, but we got a bag of asparagus right there to grill tonight. I got a bag of sweet potatoes because this is for baby girl and for um Brittany's family tonight that's going to be one of their sides um and then we got some stuff in the freezer and I don't know which freezer he put in it so um we got some <clears throat> sausage for breakfast these are frozen so I need to throw something out um and then we also got some crab cakes from Phillips we like these these only have six grams of carbs for one cake so we only eat one at a time um and what else? Let's see. We already had Kerrygold butter. Oh, we got these egg witches. That's what I'll eat for breakfast. So these aren't that bad. I forgot what the... Let's see what the carbs are. It's three carbs per sandwich, which isn't bad because I usually eat about six carbs for breakfast. But these are egg witches with turkey sausage and the bread is made of eggs. So it's egg, cheese, and sausage. So I'll probably eat two of those for breakfast actually that'll be good and what else did we get i felt like we got some more stuff i wanted to show you guys that um target had i've been eyeing these dishes for like two years they're 50 dollars each pack and they're serviced for 14 i mean service for four 16 pieces from target the threshold brand they're the square rim porcelain dinner plate sets i got an alert saying they went on sale a flash sale or deal or something but $30, so I ordered two. I only took one out of the um, box to show you guys on Instagram. So I'm gonna put those in this cabinet because in the kitchen, although the kitchen is done, I'm going to take the two doors over the wine um, bottle holder and this diagonal door right here and get glass inserts put in. Um, so I wanna display my white dishes in there, but we can also use these. Um, it's just that we eat off of everyday black dishes. We've had them for years. There's nothing wrong with them. And I think we have like four, yeah, we have like four sets of them. So 16 of like everything. So we have plenty of those and we can keep eating off of them. I just thought this would make the food pop more. Like when we um, want to just be a little bit fancy or we want to do like a cooking video because you guys say you love cook with me and stuff like that. Um, this is, y'all, we got... <laughs> Ronnie loves this huge deep sink. He loves it. But he said the downside is it's so big, you never know how many dishes you, you know you have piling up because now we're going to have a lot. So as you can see, the dish, <laughs> the sink is full. But this is a sink kit. It's a Collier brand, K-O-H-L-E-R. We got it from Costco for like $3.50. Um, that was a great deal. They do have them on eBay, but I can't find them anywhere else online. So check there. Um, it came with this cutting board which kind of fit, it fits you can see on the back it has like these grooves it fits over the sink perfectly so you can like chop stuff and throw your waste in there it came with the restaurant style sink and it came with the stopper or a strainer and it also came with a rubber mat for the bottom of your sink so your pots and pans don't scratch your stainless steel so that was a good buy on there um I have, if you don't follow me on like to know what you should, it's my house, my home, because I've been posting screenshots of the kitchen and tagging all of the um, items that we purchased. So you can go purchase them directly from there if you are interested. Um, I want to see if he put some food out in the garage. I was wondering why it was cold out here. He left the door open. I don't think he did, though. Yeah, he didn't put anything out here. So we're good to go. That's pretty much all the um, stuff that we got from Costco yesterday. Um, I had bought this years ago at our old single family home. And I just knew because we were going to turn that old kitchen desk into a wine bar. And I just knew I was going to be able to use it and fill this with corks. This is what I wanted to fill with corks. It's so huge though. But I don't know if they hung the cabinets lower. They're still 42 inches. And my old cabinets were supposedly 42 inches too. But this is like two inches too tall to go under there. So that's why I just use this one over here, which I actually like better because it's more subtle. It's not like a jumbo. 
Um, so it worked out perfectly. But we used to store this under here before the new kitchen. So maybe the lower cabinets are taller. I don't know, but it's like two inches too short. I also ordered a, some lightning um, iPhone charger cables because I my charger stopped working when I ordered them from my, um, Amazon all the time. And I was down to one charger and I was having to take it to the car and bring it inside. I was tired of that. But I wanted to show you that the outlet we put here and the outlet behind the um, home automation system tablet has the USB ports on it already. So when guests come over, they can just, you know, plug in their charger here and set their phone here and let it charge. So we did that on purpose. We wanted those. Um, and you can buy those from Home Depot or wherever. Um, but yeah, I'm about to tidy up and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and log in for work. It is 9.17. The other thing, you guys have been asking me about that chandelier over there, that's a Z Gallery dupe. It's not from Z Gallery. I got that from Overstock. I can't find it anymore, but I found the same one basically on Amazon. It's for $250, which is a great price because the, um, I think it was called the Metron chandelier from Z Gallery, and it was like $500. So that came from the townhouse. I just um, took it here with me. These lights, a lot of got, people have been asking me about these pendants. They are from Overstock, and they sell out and come back and sell out and come back. At the moment, they're sold out. Um, but if you scroll back to the vlog where we went furniture shopping and I said we got the new lights, the link to the lights is in that video. I will link them on my like to know it, um, uh, account of the picture of the kitchen once they come back in stock, but I can't link them while they're out of stock, but they are from overstock and I paid like $113 for each of them, but I ordered them. Like I knew I wanted them well before we even did the kitchen renovation and they kept selling out and so i would sign up for the email alerts and one day when it came back i just ordered both of them so that's where those are from i will be using the like to know it app a lot to link a lot of stuff i haven't really shown all this but i wanted to tell you guys i think i told you guys in a previous vlog that i did get my table it looks beautiful i haven't really styled it yet i just put this stuff on it just so it won't look empty when people come over but you guys know that i am going to stencil this back wall and then i'm going to put some family portraits along there and with my mirror frames so it's going to look really really nice but i just put this stuff um on there this stuff was actually on the old table that was here um i just put it in there as a placeholder ronnie also has i don't know if i ever showed you guys the full wall everybody just loves this i am working for working on getting a new light for in here too so don't you guys worry about that but um, everybody just loves this wall. Ronnie, this weekend, is going to try to hang that one long curtain that I ordered to make sure I like it. And then I'll be able to order three more and he can hang those. Um, again, a massive home decor haul is coming. Hopefully, I can do it. Um, I can record it this weekend or Monday after baby girl goes to Nana daycare. There is going to be... So we've been, I've been having to work in this guest room because obviously they were changing the floors and everything in the office and rearranging the office furniture. And this was the only room that wasn't getting new floors. We did leave the carpet in this guest room. But as you can see, you guys, it is a mess. We moved everything in here from like all of the other rooms. So I am using the mirrored console table as my desk right now. But eventually that is going to go on this wall where it was. And then I have that large mirror that used to be in the foyer of the townhouse that's going to go on top of that um the update the floors just look amazing i mean we just love them um i am um, doing some sponsored content with a hardware company where they sponsor all of the um the what do you call it satin nickel um door hardware and then i think today from amazon all of the new um satin nickel hinges i ordered should be coming too because we figured we change them out at the same time i know i showed you in a previous vlog all this stuff needs to be um cleaned off because the contractors were like cleaning out stuff in here and stuff like that which is why we have the clorox wipes in here but i changed out the hardware on the vanity now um josh he you know is uh josh and Skylar's dad he's a licensed plumber and he had to make an adjustment and cut around the piping, which is fine. You don't see it. Um, but he installed this for us. It looks really good. And then Ronnie installed the light. He still has to make an adjustment on the light. But I just wanted to show you guys. It looks so good. Um, and we did put the daylight bulbs in there. And then I purchased a new mirror, which I showed you guys in a previous vlog. He's going to hang that as well. Um, and we have the new dual flush toilet. 
And so we had 16 boxes of floors, flooring left from floor and decor. And I just checked the, um, we purchased it on March 3rd. Um, so that was like three weeks before they got started with the res renovation. And I thought I only had 30 days to return it to get a refund, but I actually have 90 days. So hopefully today we can take back like 10 boxes of flooring there in the garage waiting for Ronnie to load up. We have to pick up the van from the shop first, then bring it home, load up the 10 boxes of flooring because we did keep six boxes because we eventually want to do the stairs and they need the regular flooring for the, um, the landing. So, I mean, they, they'll probably use less than one box, but we just want to keep, you know, a couple extra, five extra boxes just in case. But anyway, um, we want to load up 10 boxes of the flooring and send that back. I think the flooring was like, I want to say it was like 40 some dollars a, a box. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, 10 boxes, that's some money. So what we're going to do is try to exchange it for um, a tile that I think I want to use to tile this entire back wall here. And then we're, we're going to take the... Um, toilet tissue holder off, um, off, obviously. We actually have one back there that you can put it put on it, but I wanna tile this whole wall for dramatic effect. And he's saying that I probably could just use the money from the extra flooring to go ahead and do that with. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys an overview of the house and everything. Uh, we put in all smart switches, so everything works with Alexa. Let me tell you, Alexa, turn on pendant lights. And you can see in the kitchen, it turns them on. Alexa. Turn on sunroom chandelier, as you can see. And then you can do the kitchen recess lights. And then Alexa, turn on cutout light. Turn on cutout lights. And the lights in there will come on. You see that? And then these two right here. Um, Alexa, turn on sunroom recess lights. And these two will come on in the ceiling. And um, these two and those um, are on a dimmer. I believe. So, no, I think the chandelier may be on a, a dimmer and then the cutout lights on a dimmer. The um, pendant lights are on a dimmer as well. All of the smart switches he purchased from Amazon, they're linked in the um, Amazon store. Um, a lot of you guys ask questions about this um, home automation system. So I can't get too close to it because when you walk up to it, the screen comes on and it has our address on it. But that is the... Amazon 10 tablet, it's a 10 inch, and he bought it from, we bought it from Amazon, I told you guys, we got it, the 64 gig one on a major sale for 107, so we bought three of them. The uh, Walmart ca wall mount cases for them, he bought from Amazon as well, and then he configured and put all that, the home office uh, dashboard stuff on it, so I'll have to let him tell y'all about that. Um, we did buy a window cleaning, um, set with like a squeegee and a bucket and all that stuff because you can see that the windows are really dirty so we need to clean those. I am going to put navy curtains up on the um, windows in the sunroom. Um, what else? We haven't unpacked everything, brought everything up from the basement to unpack it, but we did bring the chairs up in here. I am going to order new bar stools, but these are the ones that I already had. And the acrylic actually does go well with the acrylic handles on the cabinet, the hardware. So, um, yeah, but I just wanted to make the last purchase um, for the kitchen, which is the telescopic um, range hood, which is the vent, um, because my contractor said we need one. So we're going to order it. I can't find one for less than like $1,000. Like, I'm so pissed off that um actually has the blower a blower attached and internal. Um, the cheaper ones don't and you have to do all of this stuff and buy a separate one. So it'll go right here basically and he's gonna send the countertop guy back out to cut you know, an insert for it to go there and then it'll rise up and go down. It's a fan for the stove because we opted to get the 36 inch um, stove, the five burner stove, but it doesn't come with like a downdraft or anything like that. So we have to get a telescopic downdraft. Um, and the brand Frigidaire does not make one anymore. It's discontinued. So I'm going to have to get a different brand, which is fine. So we have to do that. And then I paid the last, we paid the last payment for the contractors um, when they left on Tuesday. So I was waiting to do that 
make sure all the money, you know, reconciled and everything. And then I will order my bar stools. But in the meantime, these are absolutely fine because they do coordinate really, really well with the acrylic um, handles and everything that we put in the kitchen. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. I am still going to play around with the furniture. As you can see, the half wall is gone. I'm going to try to get a really long console table or sofa table to go behind this um, couch. I've seen that done in model homes, and I really want that, but I haven't found a table that I really want. I want to move that couch over there in so I can put like a sideboard or something behind it. We also have a picture and two sconces to go behind there. Like I said, we're going to be adding different lighting in here and then the really long drapes um, or window treatments. And um, I just have other things as well. The circle um, wall discs are gonna go in the center. So it's gonna really make the room pop. Um, I have some things that I wanna put up on this wall up here, um, but I'm gonna have to um, have some of the trim boxes put up there. And I don't know, Ronnie says he can try to do it. I just get really weary of him getting up on that wall. Um, because it's 18 feet high. But he says he's gonna to try to do it. If he can't do it, then we'll just hire someone. Um, we also got an estimate for building a bar in the basement, like a rough estimate from our contractor, which we thought was a really good price. And then we got also an estimate from them to add a patio in the back. That was a little steep. I wasn't expecting that number, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, if you guys are in the DMV area, we use the company Remodeling and Design LLC. You can look them up on Instagram. They're based out of uh, Bowie, Maryland. They have an active Instagram account. It has all of you know their current work on there. They were excellent. All of the workers were top notch. They got here early every day, stayed late, did everything. Ronnie and I were you know just thrilled to be able to tip them, you know, the last day. And they didn't even really want to take it, but I was like, no, you guys deserve this. Like all, 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 everybody on the crew that was here, it was mainly a crew of three people. They did bring in a massive crew, like on flooring day and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was a crew of three people that did our kitchen and they were amazing, okay, amazing. So if you are interested and you're in the DMV area, Call them up for an estimate and, you know, if it's within your budget, definitely um, they come highly recommended from Buttons because clearly they did an excellent, excellent job. Like I said, these are Cambria countertops and I thought we were going to have to wait at least a week to get them. His countertop guy was here in two days. The first day he came and measured, two days later he was installing Cambria brand crazy and they didn't try to give me a different brand of cheaper cabinets for you know a higher price because the cambria stamp is on these and i saw it so <laughs> he did an excellent excellent job um what else i'm trying to remember you guys know this was sponsored content from new air so we really appreciate that um it came it came out perfect my vision came together on that um what else did i want to tell you we tested out the the dishwasher we went with the frigidaire gallery line of um appliances because I had to have the Frigidaire Gallery uh, double wall oven that had the air fry technology, which you do have to buy the air fry wall oven tray to use in there. And we bought one. I have to buy a second one for the bottom oven. But we went with Frigidaire Gallery appliances. So far, so good. Like, I almost burnt our bacon and eggs yesterday morning because I'm not used to these powerful appliances. Our, the old appliances here were so old that it took a long time to cook. And this stuff, like, you press, turn that knob on that stove, that fly, fire is like, whoosh. Like, it's, <laughs> it's on a 10. But anyway, we tested out the dishwasher. We love it. We did go with a top um, control button dishwasher which I love which means that the buttons are on the top and you don't see them across the front um of course baby girl's throne is here I'm gonna you know put that in the corner but we still have to bring up a lot of stuff from downstairs um what else they did put the Wayne's coating in the dining room it looks so good y'all it's been 23 minutes I gotta get off of here with y'all it looks so 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 good um so I'm really excited about that. We are going to have wallpaper installed on the top half. So I'm okay with that. Um, these are, this is the sponsored content. These are all of the um, door handle sets for the main level. So yeah. Um, and then I'm also going to change out the chandelier. I'm two seconds away from selling the long chandelier that I had in the townhouse and in the previous home with the seven big globes. I love that chandelier, it's such a statement. But because this sprinkler 
is right there, that long mounting bar will not go there. And I really want to just have the chandelier mounted to the side a little bit and move the table over so it's not exactly centered in the room. Ronnie just wants me to find a different chandelier with a circle base like that so it can be in the center of the room. So I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I did locate three lights for down here because those brass ones have to go. So Ronnie told me to go ahead and order that. Um, and then uh, we named this the G-Bot and she already did a cleaning. So like I told you guys, we are going to change all of the um, floor registers to this style. We got it from Home Depot. So I just have to measure because we do have two different sizes all around the house. So I have to measure and count up how many we need in a 12 inch and how many we need in a 10 inch. But for right now, they didn't put a lot of the old floor registers back in. So that's why you see it like that. Um, the G-Bot vacuum cleaner, we call ours G-Bot. We named it G-Bot, but it's the iMartine. We got that from Amazon. It is linked in the Amazon store. It is actually going to be docked in the formal living room. I told Ronnie to dock it there, and whenever I see, say living room, he thinks I mean family room. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're going to move that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do a home decor haul to show you, like, everything that I ordered because I do need to start putting things away. But, um yeah, that's the update. I've been updating everybody on Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, you should because they get everything first. Um, but let me turn off all the lights in here. There is like a feature on this where I can just turn everything off. Uh, let's see. And everything just went off, as you can see. I just turned it. Yeah, everything just went off. So that's perfect. Um, what else? I've been stalking Facebook Marketplace, just looking for things. I've been, like I said, looking for a sideboard, looking for a sofa slash long console table here. Um, but I'm not in a rush, but, you know, I would like to. As you can see, we did have them move the chandelier over to the right and move the table down so that opening this door to the deck doesn't keep hitting the table because before we had it in the center of the room and it kept hitting the table. Um, so I do want to put, like, a sideboard or cabinet here on this wall so that I can store more entertaining dishes and everything like that. And then eventually Ronnie and I talked about putting, you know, some decorative pieces in the cutouts as well, because that's a nice feature. I'm just a little weary because when you're standing at the island cooking, you can actually see the TV through this first cutout here, which is a nice feature. So if I put something too tall, you may not, you know, it'll obstruct the view. But everything is coming along really great. I think for this, I do have to get the extra large. I'm going to tell Ronnie we'd have to get one next time we go to Home Depot because the wall was cut here. It was already like that, and it's cut longer than the traditional outlets um, or outlet covers. So I can get the extra large wide one when we go to Home Depot again, which probably will be tomorrow or tonight. But let me go upstairs, jump in the shower, and um, sign in for work, okay? All right, y'all, so I'm about to head into Michael's. It's still Friday. Uh, we just picked up Ronnie's van from the shop. So I'm gonna head into Michael's to see if they have any of the uh, fake grapes for my wine bar that I'm trying to put on my cutting board. So let's see if they have. I think this is the section based on there being fruit up here. So I think I'm close. Just gotta find it. Do y'all know where it is? Oh, is this it? I think so. <laughs> so I just want some grapes. I don't want anything too big. I think these are supposed to be on sale. So I'll probably get, I don't want any with that long thing hanging down though. Let's see. Hold on. I guess I can cut it off. If all of them have it. Yeah. Just want to get a nice full one. Which one do I want? I feel like this one is a good one, so I'll get that one and put the rest back. I don't want to mess up their store. And then I'm going to get one of these green ones. And I think yesterday online they were they were 20% off. I want to say. I don't need all the colors, so I'm just going to get one more. Maybe this one. I think these are fine. And I don't see 
like the bread or anything like that. They don't have that kind of stuff and they don't have cheese. So I can only get this. This is nice too, but this is all I need. So I'm gonna grab this and go on home. Hey y'all, so it's still Friday. Let me close this door. Ronnie's out here cleaning out the garage from the contractor's stuff. Um, it's still, it's Friday at 2.52. I had to go run to um, ride with Ronnie to pick up his van from the shop, which is a whole fiasco. But anyway, we're back. Um, and then I stopped at the banks and I went to Michael's to get my grapes. Um, I took you guys in there with me. I also got three of these blue flowers because I think they may be pretty in that vase over there on that um, table. Like I said, I haven't even decorated in there yet and I'm not really sure if I'm going to leave the table like that. I just put some stuff that was already on it so that when people come over, it's not like bare. But I went in Michael's to get these grapes and they weren't on sale, they were $3.99 each, but um, they did have a 20% off coupon. So this is what they look like. I'm going to set you guys down and then trim them. Hold on. I'm gonna trim them, keep some scissors right here. So I'll have to call my mom and tell her that I got some because she didn't want to let me have hers. She got plenty. Um, so I just went and got some. I'm going to trim off this little extra piece because I don't like that sticking out like that. And I think that's another one right here. Okay, that's one. Good to go. And then I'm going to trim off this. Um, so I got two of them, as you can see, let me move my charger, and then I want to get like a fake cheese and like a little bread thing, just to leave up there for display, I thought it would be cute, anyway, um, I also stopped, let me show you guys, I gotta throw that in trash, um, so these are the three blue roses I bought, they were five dollars each with 20% off. And then I stopped at Old Navy for Baby Girl because she does not have any, like, any nine-month clothes. I tried to get her dressed today, and there's, like, barely anything in there for her to wear. So these are Old Navy, and Old Navy does their sizing weird. They go zero to three, three to six, and then they do six to 12, but it's super small. So therefore, I had to get 12 to 18, but this looks like the size of the regular, like, Carter's nine-month size. So I got her these blue denim leggings. I got her these uh, black like jogger leggings type pants and then I got the same ones in like this heather gray. They were five dollars each um, but I told Ronnie next week we'll go and get her some clothes in her current size because she needs them. Um, so yeah, let me pick this stuff up and I'll talk to you guys later.